Mansa, thank you for talking to me. So, I mean, a few months ago, you and I talking on Skype was something that was a, uh, you know, sort of uh, a deviation from the norm. Um, but now we're talking, what, Microsoft Teams, we're talking Zoom. I'd never heard of Zoom before. Uh, and we're talking the techno uh, you know, companies that do you know, groceries now saying that actually you can place your order online, we'll drop it off and we can come through. So this is an opportunity, isn't it? Uh, it's a silver lining in a very dark cloud. Good afternoon. Uh, very much so. Um, thanks for uh, asking me these questions because they are ones that I've been addressing quite intensively in the last few weeks. Mm. And what I've really seen is the extent to which this is a tipping point in the use of these technologies. So you mentioned Teams and Zoom. Those are going to be on everyone's lips in the foreseeable future. Students and people in business especially. Uh, new names like uh, WebEx uh, from Cisco and uh, Slack and new tools of that nature are going to be part of our everyday vocabulary uh, in the near future. What we're also seeing is how um, online retail and e-commerce is getting a massive boost, not because people are buying a lot more, you can't buy a lot more in terms of what you were buying before, but far more people are buying than before. So not a lot more sales, but a lot more people. And that is making up for uh, the lack of being able to sell a lot of the other uh, uh, tools uh, and products and services. We from our side are seeing massive demand you mentioned Skype interviews, massive demand for media training around uh, appearing on TV via Skype. It's amazing. You've probably seen how most people have no idea how to appear in a Skype interview. Yeah. So that is also a revolution that's happening for broadcasting. Yeah. I, I mean, my colleague and I, too, Cesar, uh, Arthur, were just having this conversation that, you know, people are even almost crediting the virus now for what they're receiving or opportunities they're seeing. And I mean by that, you know, in Godgo, we ran the story where now there is a water tap running uh, because obviously there is a need for water now so people can stay, you know, uh, you know sanitized and, you know, washing their hands and stay hydrated. But do you think it's also fair to say that the global pandemic has sort of, you know, boosted, uh, you know, this uh, digital space and technological space that we, we were seeing right now where, you know, technology is sort of embraced to its full extent? Yes, to me, it definitely has. And it's almost unfortunate that it has taken a crisis for people to discover how effective these technology uh, tools are from the ones you mentioned where people are having meetings via Zoom and Teams and WebEx, to, to e-commerce where retailers are discovering just how important the e-commerce platforms are. That's really been happening for a few years now. We've been talking about the concept of digital transformation, and that is really what has been needed, and that is now being accelerated mm. uh, by the crisis. So the technology world, the IT uh, companies are going to benefit massively from this. Yeah, uh, but of course, uh, Arthur, uh, on another occasion, you and I can talk about the need that has been highlighted uh, by this particular mm -hmm. situation to settle once and for all this issue of digital migration in South Africa yep. and the unavailability of spectrum. Of course, there have been some provisions made temporarily. Arthur Goldstock, thank you so much uh, for joining us there from Worldwide Works.